it going? Brett French, Billings Gazette Outdoors editor with you here today to talk a little bit about what to do after you make a shot. We always work really hard on getting to the animal, finding the animal, making a good shot, and then what? You gotta find it, right? You gotta track it sometimes because either it's not an accurately placed shot, maybe the deer or elk moved right when you shot, or uh, maybe it hit a branch and deflected the bullet or something. So it might not be right where you shot it when you go up there and walk up there. And sometimes even when it's a good hit, the animal will run a ways. I've seen them run 100 yards even with a good hit. So depending on what you shoot, where you hit them. So first thing to do after you've made the shot, boom, memorize the place where that animal was standing. And then wait, wait maybe 10 minutes, five minutes, give it a little time. Sometimes you can hear crashing, like it may have ran away and fallen. That's always a good sound. Uh, but sometimes they'll whirl around and run like you haven't even touched them. And so you want to wait a little while because the idea is the animal will, if it's not fear in fear that it's being pursued, it'll lay down and then you won't have to track it so far. So give it some time, 10, 15 minutes, you know, during that time you can get your tag out, uh, and get your stuff ready, you know, for uh, processing the deer and memorize where it was standing. And then I like to mark where I was standing when I shot because when you walk over there and you start looking back trying to figure out where it was, it might not look exactly the same. Things change when you move positions. So I always carry some uh, flagging, orange flagging with me. You know, you can just take and break off a little strip of it and uh, put some on a tree, on a piece of grass or whatever where you're at. Just tie it on and then that way you can see it from where you're at when you walk over to where you think the animal was. Okay, so I've walked up to where I think the animal was standing after I've made the shot. And I'm looking on the ground for anything that's like disturbed where a lot of times when they take off running, they'll, they'll throw up some dirt. So I'm looking around for that. And I'm also looking for hair or blood. So I'm looking back to trying to line up where I shot from to make sure I'm in the same place. And like somebody said, it's kind of like a golf shot. When you're over there, you want to make sure that you really memorize that spot and then walk right towards it as much as you can so that uh, you're in that same area. And so when you find where you think the animal was standing, you can just start making a bigger and bigger circle around that area. And amazing as it sounds, I mean, they could fall, you know, 10 yards away, but maybe they fall behind something and you don't see them right away. So that's a good way to kind of expand your search, but you're covering the whole area, you know, just go out a little wider and a little wider each time until you find either blood or hair or tracks. Uh, obviously in the snow that helps a lot because you can see right where they were standing and hopefully see the blood right on the snow. A lot tougher when uh, it's dry like this and you can't see exactly. So you got to pay really close attention and you'd be amazed at how many things there are red in the natural environment when you start looking around. Little red leaves, you know, little red rocks, little red pieces of uh, pine cones and needles and stuff. And so what you want to do when you find a blood trail is you want to mark it, the first sign you see of it, and also when you get a few of them together, sometimes you can kind of see an angle or a direction that they're traveling at, which really can help you. A lot of times they won't veer off. So use the tape to mark it and slowly expand your search. And if you can't find blood after this mark, you can always come back to this mark and look and look again, right? So it's really important to mark those things like that. If you think the animal is wounded, if it's ran a long ways and you think maybe it's still alive, good idea to look with a partner. Uh, that way they can be following the trail, the blood trail, and you can be looking ahead, looking for the animal in case you have to make a second shot, which is really important. Um, tracking at night gets a lot different. If you're hunting in the evening and you shoot an animal right towards the end of uh, shooting hours, 
and it gets dark on you. Very important to have a headlamp to help you find out, uh, find sign. Um, they have blood lamps, you know, that pick up the uh, blood the blood on the ground a lot better. It's a blue light that helps that show up a lot better. Those are just some tips to help you take your game home. Um, no matter how good the shot, sometimes you have to do a little tracking. So hang in there and always follow through and don't give up. Always uh, keep on looking because, you know, it's got to be there somewhere, right?